I really like live and living color. Like I'm not a dancer in it, but there's so much energy and excitement. Just watching it backstage just gets me like hyped, you know? <laughs> Excited for the show. Just a live living color. To me I love doing someone else's skin because I feel like it's the first number where the cast is really all together and we really bring the powerhouse out and I think it gets everyone excited for the show. And I just don't feel at home in my so I slip now into someone else's skin. Into someone else's skin. Oh yeah, don't break the rules is it's very very tough but it, once you get it down, it pays off really well. It's very fun, yeah. Oh gosh, <laughs> so that takes a lot of work. That number is a beast. Um, it's daunting, it takes a lot of deep breaths, I won't lie. <laughs> uh, it's a lot, but I love it, loving it. One day I'll catch you, don't go sneak into a movie. Put a red light itself to watch you, it's all the same to me. Your eyes are guilty, are you not? I think my favorite part is Jet Set, the Jet Set number. Jet Set, yes. What happens in Jet Set? Um, it's when Frank realizes he like is gonna pretend to be a pilot for the first time, so we get to do a big dance number and a kick line, and it's so much fun. I love the Jet Set kick line. I think it's just the energy of that and the fact that everyone cheers because it's a kick line. I never understood that though. I like doctor's orders because it pushes me out of my comfort zone but in a really fun way and it's really fun. I love the costumes, I love how we get to interact with Ryan and I think it's a really fun number. Yes, I like playing doctor was my favorite game indoors and I still like to play around. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Yes, my favorite part is when I pose like Barry Allen the Flash and it gets the audience every time. It's hysterical, it's the best feeling. Barry Allen! The Flash! <laughs> My favorite number would probably be Family Tree. I'll give a rebel yell to every southern bell under our family tree. I'll swing a second line. Hard work pays off, we're getting pretty good feedback. You think there's a message to this show? I think... <laughs> Is there a message to the show, real quick? Uh, <laughs> don't commit grand larceny? I think the audience can take away really living life to the fullest and never taking any time for granted and really surrounding yourselves with people that you love and that you care about. Um, I think it's like in the importance of family and loved ones, really. Yeah, not maybe not lying, but yeah, <laughs> that might be a good one too, but yeah. I feel like the message is, for a while you can run away from your problems, but they'll always come back to you. Well, I think the biggest thing is that you have to remember that he's still a kid, and he's sort of got this childlike innocence while he does all these extravagant and legal things that really, really fleshes him out and makes him human. Like, he says at one point, like, a stewardess asks him if he wants anything to drink before he goes on a plane, and he says, um, milk? I know that the show is supposed to be told from Frank's perspective, and so the audience has to see what he sees, not exactly what she sees. So if it was the Paula Avignale show, I think it might have gone a little differently, but... <laughs> Mom, Dad, I met this girl in... Thank you, you remember your father's friend, Jack Barnes? Frank, good to see you. You know, I think that there's an investment that definitely lacks there, because she just wasn't planning on having him. You know, he's like 50. Hanrat is like 50. Um, so it's hard to put yourself in that mindset. But then it helps me to just break down the character and just see what's he going through? What's he experiencing? And then I look at my life and I say, you know what? I felt that before. And I felt that before. And I may not be 50. I may not be an FBI worker. So if tomorrow Santa's flown, the tree is down and you're alone. 
I'm always here, right by the phone. Yes, Christmas is my favorite time of year. Whether I come across as 50 or not, that's, that's what I'm just trying to get across. Frank Abagnale Sr., he's, he's a really ambitious dude. You know, part of him is really all about appearance and, you know, appearing, you know, ostensibly being something very powerful. What they see is the uniform, how it fits, it fits to a T. It's definitely a great group of people and it's a great show and the, just the level of dedication and the things that come out of this are just incredible. Everyone's just so, like, we're just such a tight family and, like, I love that I was able to, like, be a part in it, like, given the opportunity to join it. Oh, it's been amazing. I'm a senior this year, so it's my last year, and my freshman year I did a stage crew, but then I've been in the show since then, and I just, I just love everyone that's a part of it. They just are my family, and they make me feel like I belong, and I can be myself, and they've, like, I've just grown to love theater even more because of them. It, it's a very tight-knit group. It's a family. It's, it's like a home away from home type experience. I was surrounded by very, very talented dancers this whole, the whole four months, and I'm not really used to the dancing part. I've never really been in the dance ensemble, but I can tell you this is one of the most fun productions I've ever been a part of. So much fun. It's been a lot of fun. I've always grown up being a really big dancer, so being a part of like such a big dance show with a bunch of amazingly talented people, and people are stepping up that have never really danced before, and it's just so cool to see everyone coming together and all dancing at the same level. It's just like really like inspiring to see everyone's hard work. It's an experience like no other. You'll never get anything like it again. It's really made me feel like I have a place and it, the friends you make are just friends you're going to last a lifetime. Seeing the alumni again is so great. You get to see all the people that you made so many great memories with. It's been really great. Like just the energy we have backstage and like the bond you form with your cast members, it's just like an experience that like I've never had before. It's been so much fun. I love doing the shows every year because it's like having a second family that you get to come to every night and it's just, you get to come and dance and be in character with your best friends. <laughs> and um, it's been beautiful, really. Um, I've met and, and, and made so many beautiful connections and you know, uh, this cast is, one of the most reinforcing, supportive casts on earth. So that's, it, it's, it's, it's been a great, beautiful experience. So this has been a super fun show and I'm super grateful to have had such a special part and I will never forget it.